Hello, hello, and welcome back to a new video by the Desk Course Platform. My name is Johan, and in this video, we are going to learn about the differences between imperative and declarative programming in the language Swift. Okay, so imperative versus declarative. Um, the biggest difference is, is that when we code imperatively, is that we tell our code to do something and how to do it. And this actually makes makes like a lot of code. It makes, it makes you have to do more work. And the biggest difference with declarative programming is actually that we tell, with declarative programming, we tell the code to do something. We're not going to tell them how, just do it, right? So, in this example, we're actually going to do the same. So, we're going to use Pokemons today in this video, because who doesn't like Pokemon? As you can see, I already have some sample data here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab my other project really quick okay so first thing we're gonna do we're actually gonna create a struct struct called Pokemon we're gonna give this a name of string and that's the only thing we need so the first thing we're gonna do is our imperative way of coding so mark imperative way of coding so under here we're gonna do func, and we're gonna we're gonna give this filter Pokemon. We're gonna create an array, so we're gonna do array. This is gonna be an array of Pokemon, comma name of string. So in this case, we actually create a Swift function with um, with stuff in it, right? Uh, I lost, I forgot the English name, but you know what I mean. And we're actually going to give this also a return type of an array of Pokemon. Okay. So, what we're going to do now, we're actually going to do var result is equal to Pokemon. If we give this an initializer, under there, we're actually going to do for Poke an array. No, wait a second. Because this is uh, the playground. It doesn't do. It, uh, it doesn't always do a great job of, um, yeah, of code completion. So, if pokey dot name is equal to name. Oh my god. We're gonna do result dot append we don't need append we only need name and after now we need pokey after that we're gonna do pokey and after that we're gonna give this a result type and the result is gonna be result oh return result okay let's clean this up a little bit Okay, let's run this. Oh, wait a second. First, we have to declare it, of course. So we're going to do filter Pokemon. Mm, oh, first we need to create an array, huh? So let's give this string. Let's give this the name Pikachu. And I don't think, I think we can actually unname this. So we're going to give this an lowly. Then we, know, then we don't need the array. Normally we can actually run this like this. Let's run it. Let's see what happens. Missing an argument. Which argument are you missing? Mm, ah, okay. Pokemon. Okay. Now it works. As you can see, now we have the empty array. I forgot to add the initializer. Okay, so this is imperative programming. What we can also do, we can do mark, and we're gonna call this declarative programming array of code. What we can actually do, we can do func filter my Pokemon in here. We're actually going to call also array of Pokemon. 
gonna do name of string. We're gonna give this a return type. And the return type is also gonna be Pokemon. Okay, and what we now can do, instead of coding like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Pokemon, we can actually do our return array dot filter and we're gonna do curly braces and inside the curly braces dollar sign zero dot name is equal to name let's clean this up a little bit okay and after that we're gonna call filter my Pokemon, this is gonna be Pokemon dot Pokemon braces, and we're gonna do Pikachu. And let's run this. And as you can see, the code also works here because it returns an empty array. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So as you can see, this is the biggest difference. So instead of using one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 10 lines, we only used three here, right? So this is the biggest difference between imperative and uh, decorative programming. This is also what you see in uh, when you work with SwiftUI instead of uh, UIKit. In SwiftUI, you actually tell the system to do something, and in UIKit, you have to tell tell the system to do something and how to do it. So, this was a really short video. Uh, I hope you understand what we did here. If not, make sure to uh, ask me questions in the comments. I will be there or come to my Discord channel. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. If you find it informative, please leave a comment. And I see you next time.